Wow, I definitely did not forget to actually uh, fix my audio, my microphone, so I did definitely not record this again. Uh, wow, as you can see, we have the EV, the experimental vehicle. Hmm, and it looks majestic. And as you can see, we have some nice, uh, nice. things around it. And it has a beautiful color of blue, but we also have lights and a giant cannon. Uh, and if we open the beautiful door, we can see that there's a seat inside and only one. But if we close, we can see that we have oh multiple God. panels that do no. different things. So we can turn on the lights and we also have a camera to look backwards. And as you can see, it looks perfect. Amazing. The lights are very, very epic. And if we turn them off, it will look uh, not epic. So, uh, yeah, that's how lights work. Uh, Definitely, I promise. But as you can see, we have RPS speed, but we also have ammo counter, so we know how much ammo we have in our cannons. <sighs> but when you drive, it drives uh, definitely fast. Uh, wait, this isn't fast, this is actually very slow. And what is it doing with the wheels? Uh, well, yeah, uh, we also have a gear, so will that fix the problem? Doesn't see. Uh, as you can see, the car is very happy and it just jumps. It's it's so excited, very excited. Uh, it, it's it's so happy. It yeah. But if we press two, we can activate the brakes, so it actually works. So bam! And you, as you can see, it's the parking brake and it allows you to full stop. But if we test the actual machine gun, it looks like this. And as you can see, it works perfectly. And as you can see, the ammo counter works actually how it's supposed to work. But, uh, well, we also have the auto cannon, so let's test that on a real target. Y yes, wow. Wow, that was very exciting uh, damage we took uh, on that vehicle. Well, as you can see, we have done a lot of destruction here. Uh, well, it's kind of dead, so uh, yeah, as you can see, it's uh, very destroyed, but uh, also, what the f- what in the f what was that? Uh, anyways, uh, I have no idea. It happened again, but as you can see, I think we have destroyed the vehicle enough that it's uh, Simply pretty much dead, but uh, well, the damage is uh, yeah just insane. But we have a bit on the back here. That's but as you can see, it's pretty much as dead as it can be. So it, it's it's dead. So wow. Uh, but let's take a look inside. How we have how much damage we have taken inside. Look at that, we even damaged it so much that the doors don't even work. Because the microcontrollers that actually, you know, control them, 
they have, you know, gotten damage. So we just use some magic. <laughs> yeah, boy. And we get in. So on the inside, we can see that it has suffered fatal injuries, if a tank can do that. Uh, but as you can see, much of the stuff here is damaged uh, about everything. Literally nothing is actually working and everything is completely screwed up. So, um, well, as you can see, it's... Um, the engine is also extreme damage, even though it's in a little chamber which has some uh, better protection uh, than the other stuff because it's more armored. As you can see, it has those uh, things on it. But well, it's kind of dead, I would say. Um, well, yeah. So check out uh, his channel as well, and uh, well, the. Uh, yeah, the description uh, in the description we see him and the vehicle as well.